We still don't know if there's life on Mars. But today, the odds of finding it just got a whole lot better. Because scientists are now convinced that flowing down the sunnier slopes of this Martian crater and others like it are streaks of liquid water. Not life, but the next best thing. Mars is not the dry, arid planet that we thought of in the past. Today we're going to announce that under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars. Back in 2011, a PhD student at Arizona State University spotted these dark streaks in images from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. They came and went with the seasons. He immediately suspected water, but being a scientist decided to name the streaks Recurring Slope Linnae while he carried out more tests. The results are now in. It's almost certainly liquid water in a salty solution of a chemical called perchlorate thawing out of the soil in the Martian summer. We know that um, four billion years ago, Mars was a much warmer, much wetter place. It would have had its own lake district, it would have had its own seaside, um, and now all of that has disappeared. But we are seeing now, we're glimpsing still the evidence of, of liquid water on the surface, which is incredibly exciting. It's seeping brine, not a babbling brook, but in the search for life, that's still a big deal. Everywhere we go where there's liquid water, whether it's deep in the earth, or um, uh, in the arid regions, uh, we find life. This is tremendously exciting. We haven't been able to answer the question, does life exist beyond Earth? But following the water is a critical element of that. The water flows are too far for robots already on the red planet. But for future missions, the task is clear. To find life, just head for the wet bits. And available water will help future manned missions too. I guarantee you that at some point, everything's going to go south on you. Ready? The harshness of Mars is the main theme of Ridley Scott's latest sci-fi epic. An unlucky Matt Damon is left trying to survive on a totally barren planet. Good thing for Hollywood, the film came out at the weekend. Because today, with these salty trickles, Mars got a little more hospitable.